questions for the greater good? No, right, let's do this. Okay. So, Monday was the same, and we had two kickers. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to graph the absolute value as if it were an equal sign. Now remember, with absolute value comes a little bit more things. Okay? First off, remember it's absolute value, so it's a V. Okay? Either a right side up V. Or an upside down. Okay. So because it's absolute value, it is a B. So remember that we had that fun filled. So remember we had that fun filled Y equals A times the absolute value of the quantity X minus H then plus k. So that's what it's going to look like. And you can plot points on that until you find the v, or you can remember that the vertex is at the point h comma k. Because h is inside, we think oppositely. We talked The slope of the right side is going to be A, and the left side slope is going to be negative. The extra kicker is the same kicker from Monday in that you might have a solid V or you might have a dash V. You might have a dash V. Yes. Oh, there you go. Good answer. Good answer. So solid V or a dash V. Okay. So that's step one, just as it was step one on Monday. Draw in your line on Monday, draw in your absolute value. Okay. Step two then, now <laughs> is going to be the shading step, just as it was on Monday. But now, instead of shading on one side of the line, you're either going to shade inside or outside. 
depending upon the truthiness of your test point and where your test point is. So if your test point is inside the absolute value, inside the B, and it's true, you shade inside. If it's false, you shade outside. If your test point is outside the B and it's true, you shade outside. If it's false, you shade inside. Okay. And the test point process is the same as it was on Monday. Pick any point. Origin is the best as long as you don't go through it. Plug it back into your original inequality. True statement, shade that way. False, shade up. The opposite. Okay. Okay. Let's put it to the work. Y is greater than, and now this would be on those pieces of graph paper that you have. Y is greater than the absolute value of x minus 1. Then, well, So my question to you off the start is where is my vertex? Do we agree with negative one comma four? Positive one. Why are on the You gotta think oppositely on H. Yep. Yep. So Positive one, comma four. Positive one, comma four. If we go to positive one, comma four, that is right one up four. We put ourselves a dot right there. Love it. What is the right side slope? One, yep, positive one. So that means we're going to go up one and right one, or right one and up one, and up one and right one, and right one and up one, and up one and right one, and right one and up one. Oh, I screwed up on the very last one. I was alternating it. Right one, up one, up one, right one. That's why I screwed up. I alternate until the very last one. Okay. Next one. Next one. Okay. Left side slope. Negative one. Now, instead of going down one and right one, like you would normally go with a negative slope, we want to go up in this case. So we're going to go up one, left one, left one, up one, up one, left one, left one, up one, up one, left one, left one, up one. That time I got it right because I kept drawing my finger with the way I had to go. Solid or dashed line in this case? Dashed line in this particular case. No equals component on the inequality. Did I, or can I, I think can is better, can I use the origin as my test point? Yes. Yeah. So if I plug in 0 for y, I get that. If I plug in 0 for x, I get that. Zero minus one. Negative one. Negative one. Absolute value of negative one. 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 One plus four. Five. So I have zero is greater than five. True or false? That is false. So am I going to shade outside the B or inside the B? Inside the B. Next, you didn't do this. Yeah. It's kind of like the 
Superman S. And then we'll put It's playing. It's super absolute value. Awesome. <laughs> Good. Walk away. It's the only school that mows the lawn in the middle of a pouring rainstorm. Well, there's 70 acres of, of lawn to mow, so he's got to mow constantly. It's actually more than that. It's actually more. Mowing on wet. You, yes, you, yes, you. Try this one. Where, oops, I gotta switch off of these back to my pan. Where be my vertex? Where is my super suit? Where is my super suit? Uh, no, we have three. Three comma two? That's gonna take a long time. And then just do right So that's right there, yes? Okay. Right side slope? So that is down two, right one, 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 and finally down two, right one. Okay. Left side slope. So to make it be a V again, I would go down and left this time. Solid or dashed? Solid. Solid on this one. Yep. Test point. Use the origin. So that's going to be zero less than or equal to negative two <coughs> times the absolute value of zero minus three, then plus two. Uh, zero minus three. three. Negative three, absolute value. Three, three times negative two. Six. Six. Negative six. Negative six plus two. Negative four. Truth or false? False. That is a false statement. So do we shade inside or outside? Inside. inside. We got for funkiness now. Mm, I don't know what this one is. I've never done this one. Ooh, not a fan. I can tell you right now, not a fan, but I'm gonna go with it. It's, I can't tell if it's snowflakes, icicles, or little mini fireworks going on. Yes. They're not, that's what I was thinking too. Like a, like a Christmas like a, Yeah. Like a mini yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's whichever you want it to be. <laughs> Try that one. I'm going to go with the calligraphy. Today. We'll try it. Why not? Let's see what it looks like. I don't like it already. I can tell you that right now. Yep, not a fan. What? That looks so, crazy. No. No, that's <coughs> a crayon one. Oh. oh, yep. Oh, we can crayon. No. We'll crayon when we color. Because we got to color with the crayon. <laughs> vertex here. we got to eat the crayon. Where be my vertex? Four zero. Four zero? Negative four zero. I like negative four zero. Such sass. <laughs> right side slope. One half. 
which means my left slope is So we're at negative four comma zero is there. Positive one half would be here, 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 there. Negative one half would be there, here, here. Solid or dashed line? Dashed, dashed line on this one. <coughs> Test point zero zero. So that would be zero less than one half times the absolute value of zero plus four. Zero plus four. Four. Four absolute value of four. Four. Four times one half. Two. Two. Zero less than two. Yes or no? Yes. That is a true statement. So since my uh, test point was outside, that means that we are also going to be shading outside. And we said we're going to get crayons. I'm going with the big crayon. And oops, I got a big thing. Multi hue. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I can stay in the line. Yeah. Caleb can't sit down. Hmm? Yeah. I believe that I can fly. I believe that I can touch. Look at it on this one. It's like all oh, funky funk on that one. Oh, whoa, whoa. I don't want the same on that one. Yeah. All right. That's all I got for you today. Give you time to work on that review <coughs> assignment, get that assignment done, get some questions answered. 100%.